Evening. I'm not on here for long tonight. I wouldn't normally be on here because I have got my grandson. So this is just a short one and this one is for Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. He's been missing 60 days today. So please, if you haven't already, put a candle on, light a candle. Put a green porch light on. Light up green. Let's see those hearts in the chat for Sebastian. You've been missing 60 days now. Searches galore have gone on. On horseback. And I keep it reading this one woman who lives between Hendersonville and Clarksville. And she says her and her fam family go on horseback every day along this one highway where she lives, rides up and down every day looking for anything. But there's nothing. And yet there's still no criminal investigation. Does this boy mean nothing? Well, to a lot, a lot, a lot of people all around the world, he means something. He may not mean a lot to his mother or his stepfather, I know he means the world. He's Seth Rogers' life. He said from the beginning, without him, I've got no life. My life started when I picked him up on a Friday after school and ended on a Sunday when I dropped him home. Then for two weeks he did go about his work. Then his life would start again on a Friday after school. Or on the other occasion when he would have him on holidays and things like that. That's when he had a life. He's got no life without his son. So keep your hopes high and let's hope and let's pray Sebastian is found and can tell us himself what happened. Let's hope. I've got a short video. It's got no music to it. 
not this one anyway. I have a wrong house, but this one hasn't. So, enjoy. No, that bounces at all for how I feel. And it just breaks my heart every day I come on here. I've got my coffee. That's okay, follow across. That's okay. Like I said, I'm not on here for long tonight. This is all for Sebastian. This is all for Sebastian tonight. There was no music to that last one. I meant to play it before I actually spoke and I forgot. But I'll play it again at the end, that one. Um, but we are going to watch some... I can get my mic out of the way. Some videos. Okay. I've been trying to find that one with his birth, well, where a party or something, and can I find it? No. So, let's have a look. Um, oh, I knew which one it was now. Okay, I'll just put it in to start off with. So that I can share it. This is the first interview. I did see something of it, but I haven't seen it all. As I said, I've got my grandson. So I've only been seeing small clips of anything. But... Once I get him to sleep or get him settled down for the night, I'll try and watch it. Hold on. Continues. The case, though, we know is now a criminal investigation. Thanks for being with us at 6, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. And I'm Kelsey Gibson. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This was a while ago. This was. A month ago. But listen to what he just said. Search continues. The case, though, we know is now a criminal investigation. Thanks for being with us at six, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. And I'm Kelsey Gibson for Carrie. He just said it there. It's a criminal investigation. So what? Anyway, I'm not getting into that tonight. This is For the first Sebastian. time, we are getting a look at family video of the missing 15-year-old. Sebastian's biological father gave it to Nick Bears during an exclusive on-camera interview. Seth Rogers shares custody of his son, and the deputy with the Davidson County Sheriff's Department spent the past two weeks looking for Sebastian. I'm hoping he's still alive. You know, that, that's, that's my main hope right now, is that he's not deceased. I mean, I keep praying that he's alive. I keep praying that somebody's going to see him, or somebody's going to call 911. Seth's 15-year-old son disappeared barefoot and with a flashlight from his mother and stepfather's home in Hendersonville either late on Sunday, March 3rd, or early that Monday. Seth knows the key to finding his son may come from a tip. Several photographs have already been made public, and now he's released two video clips of Sebastian. 
In this first one, you see Sebastian up front on the left in yellow shorts, participating in a tug of war with fellow students. And if you watch, he got swung around at the end like a little rag doll, and it's like, well, he gave it his best. This second video shows Sebastian walking at his middle school graduation. I was very proud of him. I mean, he, he successfully completed something. Seth says his son, who is autistic, is not a wanderer. He finds it highly unlikely Sebastian would leave in the middle of the night barefoot, based on an experience his son had as a child. He, he decided to, that he wanted to step into a mound of what he thought was dirt, and it was fire ants. And so since like then, it, it's always been just and like to get his feet the possibility of foul play that someone is involved in his son's disappearance and if sebastian is able he says he needs to call for help he needs to call 911 and if somebody has him you need to give him back he's my son and he doesn't belong to nobody but damn it he's mine and he's mine nick barris news channel 5 Today, authorities have named no suspects and say that all of Sebastian's parents continue to cooperate with the investigation. Now, that got me. That first interview with Sebastian uh, got me. And he said, Sebastian don't belong to no one, but God damn it, he's my son, and I want him back. So light, light it up to note the green hearts, please. Put some green heart in there for Sebastian. This is what I hear for tonight for Sebastian. Right. I thought I'd, I'd just show you that because that is the one that I always, always goes back to when I think of the parents. That is that first interview that Seth ever done. So, and then what else was there? There was thing ever oh she gave it down. Look. Oh god um. Oh yeah. Oh god, what was his name now? Oh Here, right, I'm going to try and find that interview. Um, Sebastian, uh, let's come on to his page. Oh, I'm gonna mute it because I want to get to where uh, it talks about Sebastian. And I'm sure. No, no, that isn't the one. Mm -hmm. Oh god, my grandson's just coming through.
He was going to say hello, but he won't say hello. He's gone all. No. No. My God, I'm okay. going. My Lord, for me, God. He wanted to tell you about the meteors landing. <laughs> but I've got to tell him about the meteors coming into land. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're such a little darling. Anyway, thank you, follow Christ. Thank you for knowing my heart and prayers. <laughs> This is why I don't like coming on live when my grandson's here because I can't give him my full attention and it's not fair on him. Anyway, I was trying to find the video where Seth spoke to Pascal and he opened up about his son. And I sat there and listened to that interview. And I put, is he talking about my grandson? Yeah, that's what I heard. That's what she said. Yeah, apparently it started. It can go back before December. It was. It wasn't all paradise at home, as I heard her say. Just said something like that, and she asked. Then the woman asked to say how he felt about. Did he feel that like Sebastian was safe at the house? And he said. Well, I only found out since he went missing about what's been going on. So, anyway. Play, oh no, that was what I wanted to play, wasn't it? Oh God, I'll find you. Oh. I'm just doing on This was the video. I'm going to have to go for a little bit because it is 30 odd minutes long. So I'm just going to go to here. Right? To here. And we'll start. following us since day one. Uh, I've got a son of Sebastian's age, so that kind of hits a little closer to home to me as a parent. Um, I just you know, I come out and just prayer me that I don't want anyone to lose hope. I want you to give up. I want you to keep praying, keep sharing the love. It's you know, easy to become redundant and you know, kind of just assume that you know, there's nothing more to be done, but I promise you there's people out there responding on social media saying, do you have anything found yet? Um, they just, you just got to keep this in the forefront. You can't let it go. Um, Shalon, I appreciate you coming out and doing the prayer. Um, uh, if you put your heart and soul into it, I know the community appreciates you coming out here to do that. Um, Summer County Schools is also supporting the Beach High School students in their efforts on Wednesday to wear green for Sebastian. I'm extremely proud of those students for stepping up and taking the lead with that um, to spread awareness. Um, and like I said, I, I'm not going to stop spreading awareness. I'm going to do my part, whatever that is, to help try to find this thing. Teams and kids, we all have a love for our kids. And, you know, we all need to work together as a community, put any differences aside, and you know, encourage you know, friends, people maybe that aren't your friends are just, uh, you know, opposite of, you know, maybe political views. Just reach out to 
to chat to them anyway. I would encourage them to please stay vigilant. You know, um, especially, you know, I would tell people, still look at your properties twice a day. Um, you know, but she definitely, you know, some of the that. Uh, I'll have to watch that follow up Christ. Spaces, porches, parks, vehicles, storage buildings. Don't assume either. Please don't assume that you know everyone is aware of the situation. You know, that everyone has social media and everyone watches TV. Because you know, I've met people uh, during this whole thing that don't watch the news. There's some people that don't have social media. So your neighbors, friends, anybody that you go to church with, coworkers, please continue handing out this flyer and let's not give up. This kid needs us. We've got to keep praying. So let's just not give up. Stay, you know, stay strong until this kid comes home. Thank you. Thank you. Can we get the mic working again? Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to come up here and say, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, absolutely. I'm sorry. That's what you Oh, appreciate it. Yeah, that's sad. Uh... this song notice for this one unfortunately that's why there's not as many people and the fine Sebastian groups on Facebook aren't allowing us to see the vigil which is very strange Yes.
for Sebastian Rogers. I love that song. I've actually got it on my Facebook page and I know when I play this I'll get flagged up for this. But I don't care because I'm playing it for Sebastian. When I finish tonight I'm gonna to finish with this music, that song go down. Because in my heart that is Sebastian's song. Because we are one arm we are out there looking for him. If we can't personally, physically get out there to look for him, we are on our mics, we are on our channels, and we are pushing his name and his picture there to whoever will listen, whoever will look and watch. So, YouTube, flag me up. I don't Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Harley. For the, for the uh, hearts. This is for Sister. Right, I want to go forward a bit. Because I want to show you that part where you see this certificate. It's just going up now. I'm a senior this year, and so I am the FFA. I was an FFA officer on our chapter. And Sebastian was actually, <laughs> sorry, I'm not used to public speaking. But, um, so as a freshman at Beach High School, you can take a class called AgriScience that introduces you to FFA, which is Future Farmers of America. So even though Sebastian Rogers was not involved in the class physically, he actually was able to complete classes online that he actually was physically able to take. So even though he may not have been in the class itself with my advisor, he was able to complete that online in order to earn a certificate, which was called a green hand degree. So I am here today to actually present that to him, to his dad, himself. That way he can know how, how hard his son can work this year.
that. And so right now, I just ask that through the power of your Holy Spirit. Right. That's mainly because I want to watch up there. Because that is about Sebastian. That was his song. That was his song. That is his song. Not was. That is his song. And I'm so glad he got that certificate. So let's get him home so he can get that certificate himself. His dad can give him that certificate. Let's bring him home. Right. I'm going, as I said, I'm not on here long tonight. Um, so I'm just going to play this video and then I'm going to be finishing up falling out. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. My grandson was here. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to say good night. And thank you for being here for Sebastian tonight. Well, please light your candles. If you've got a porch, put a green can light, light bulb in your porch. Do it for Sebastian. And we'll go out. Read this song. I'm going to have a picture of Sebastian up and we're going to go out with Sebastian. Right, I'm, I'm down. Hold on you. They can hear you. They can hear you.
Thank you everyone for being here tonight. Keep Sebastian in your thoughts. Keep doing what you can. Just keep his name out there. As the character says, say my name. Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. We will find you. We will not forget. And we will never stop looking for you. Ever.